Hi there, this is Billy. If you've been following my videos, you know that I've created this 3DQ MOSFET crystal radio circuit that we can use for FM, AM or medium wave and sub wave. Today I'm going to show you with a small change to add a battery. You can turn this crystal radio into a highly selective and sensitive and very loud regenerative radio. And this way you can tune into AM or medium wave, sub wave, and FM and receive those radios with a very short antenna or no antenna at all and still be able to hear a strong audio output. This is the circuit diagram of the FM crystal radio. It's the uh, same diagram we've used to create our FM crystal radio. And by adding a small battery, 3 watts to 5 watts, we can turn it into this diagram. You can see in the middle part there, we got a 3 watts to 5 watts battery. And there's a small switch. It switch up to the up now. That means we will connect through this battery to our headphone, uh, to our transformer, and then to our headphone. So this way, the MOSFET will operate in a mode called regenerative mode. In the regenerative mode, the signal output from the MOSFET will be fed back into the tuner circuit and then re-amplify again. Hence, the signal will be amplified hundreds or even a thousand times louder than the original signal uh, without the battery. The battery must be at least 3 volts and it can be up to 5 volts. Don't try anything uh, strange like 12 volts, otherwise it may burn the 3DQ. If you flip the switch S2 down, it will go back to the crystal radio mode. That means you can still rely on whatever energy you got from the antenna to power the earbud or headphone. In this way you can listen to strong signals as a crystal radio and then if you want to hear the weaker stations you can flip the switch S2 up and power up the regenerative radio circuit to listen to those weaker stations. You can even replace the function of S2 with a copper clip, right? You can insert a battery like a cell button battery, CR2032 3 volt cell battery, inside the clip to uh, power the radio. And then when the clip uh, is loosened, it will make the contact and do without the battery. And that becomes a crystal radio. Now let me show you how we can turn this original 3DQ crystal radio circuit for medium wave and short wave radio to a regenerative circuit. Again we will add the 3 volts to 5 volts battery and we also need to add a 5k variable resistor. Um, at the junction between the tapping point of the coil to the S pole of the 3DQ. So this resistor will allow you to control the regenerative power because if regeneration is too strong you will get echo and feedback uh, like the buzzing sound of a buzzer. So you want to turn the resistor towards the tap uh, to get a stronger output but not too strong that it starts a local oscillation and create a beeping sound. I will show you in a demonstration video how this works. The same circuit will work for both medium wave AM or the sub wave radio. You just need to replace the coil and the variable capacitor the right size or the right uh, frequency band. 
Again, you can turn the uh, switch S2 up to start the regenerative radio when you need to listen to weaker stations or flip it down to uh, change the mode back to a crystal radio so you can listen to the original sound without amplification. So with the battery turn on, regenerative function turn on, I can listen to FM station without any external antenna. I just need the headphone cable to function as the antenna. But in uh, this case, the uh, regenerative function is too big and a little bit unstable. So if you touch or move your hand away, the station uh, will be turned to something else. So you need to be careful. With the antenna connected, the regenerative function will be more stable, so you won't easily lose your station when you move the hand away. This is the short wave regenerative radio test. You'll find that first you need to tune close to a station and then adjust the variable resistor to adjust to a proper regenerative power. So you will hear very loud audio output but without the buzzing. This is the one ring copper pipe coil that I used for my short wave radio. The size of the pipe is 16 millimeter. This one sounds like Vietnamese or Thai radio. I just tune into some Japanese software video.
また別になってくるんですかね,すねはいいやあの僕が聞きたかったのは本部側の思惑なんですけど<笑>ちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょI think this is BBC Subway about the Brexit. This is the one meter wide loop radio coil that I'm using for my AM or medium wave radio test. Now I've now turned on the regenerative radio, the battery is on. System of control. Again, you use this button sign and you turn the regenerated power to the base. With moderate south to southeasterly winds. At the observatory, 23 degrees. With regenerative radio turned on, I'm able to hear strong stations even louder. I'm even able to pick up some very weak station from China that I couldn't receive before. So the regenerative radio is able to amplify these very remote weak signals to a level that I can pick up.
This is me, had said she will. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and send this to your friend to subscribe too. Thank you.